what's up y'all thank you for tuning into my channel thank you so much for supporting me thank you for those that are subscribed to my channel and i do want to take a second to make a few announcements first announcement is if you don't follow me already please subscribe to my channel or if you don't subscribe to me already could you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you know when i do post my content and um also if you could real quick drop a like on this video i'm gonna give you guys a second real quick moment of silence okay thank you so much for liking my video thank you guys for supporting me um supporting you know tarot readers people of color tarot readers of color because um, there's not a whole bunch of us and we don't really get represented like that. So if you guys could like our videos, it helps us show up more because we are poorly represented out here in the artistic community. But um, yeah, what else? Uh, I got my lip gloss here. If you guys are interested in purchasing my rose quartz gloss, they're 100% vegan made out of 100% real rose quartz so yeah 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 but um yeah so this video if you've already read by the time you by this time you should have already read the title um it's about my toxic situationship and I'm pretty sure a lot of us have been through situationships but this one man this one is what this one was literally out of this world like i've tried to speak on this one other time i posted a video of this like last year and i had to take it down because first of all i had filmed that video like two or three times before posting and after posting i had like i had seen like the craziest shit on there like I was in a, I was in my gown, but somehow I had like a little like, like a little show going on, you know what I'm saying? A little show. And I was like, are you serious? Like, people could really see that shit, so I had to take it down. And I don't know if it was just like, that person's energy not wanting me to speak the, my truth, or if it just wasn't the time. And I wanna say it's the latter. I wanna say that it just wasn't the time because at this point in my life, I'm done allowing energies to fuck with me in that way. I'm done saying that this is fucking with me. Oh, they, this, they, that. No, because at some point I gotta start, you know, you gotta start taking responsibility for the shit that you allow in your life and the energy that you allow in your life. and you know you got to take responsibility for where your mind goes and i'm choosing to not let my mind wander there anymore because i'm about self-improvement and self-empowerment and those thoughts do not improve or empower me in i see three 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 in any way shape or form so i'm i'm you know i'm i'm on a different path now and yeah uh, I feel like I just rambled, but that's really how I feel. That's really, really how I feel. But anyways, I don't even know how I'm going to start this video because there was so much shit that happened. Like, this is a part, this is a multiple part video. This is, it might be like three whole parts since I just saw 333, three, three, I just saw 404. Four. But since I just saw 333, three, this might be a three part video on some more shit. So, yeah, it might just be some a three part video because uh, my phone doesn't have that type of space you feel me but anyways so let's let's start off on how i met this fool and i'm gonna call him the fool a fool this fool because he want to claim aquarius when this nigga really like capricorn so he's the devil and yeah but anyways so this started our our little journey started my um my junior year i was just uh yeah we just ended well i just ended my junior year 
of college and it was summertime and honestly like it was a wonderful time for me i was awakening and i could feel that shit in my spirit but at the time i didn't know what was really going on i just felt like my brain was open and i was just understanding shit more okay this why is this wasp like coming at me like that with the, the windows closed and shit weird you ain't coming in anyways so yeah we met at a, um, a party some girl's house party she had thrown a party at her parents house so we me my uh sister and a friend at the time we were chilling at this party and we were just walking around like I, my hair was cute i was dressed cute you know all that shit and he spotted me it keeps coming back he spotted me and he was sitting in the kitchen on the counter with one of his friends and i just like so happened to like walk past him i was digging their vibe because like i like people that look like they take care of themselves because i like to take care of myself like self-care you know what i'm saying i, I like that shit. um so that's what it looked like to me that it looked like they like to care of themselves but also they look like what i used to call back in the, the back in the day twitter niggas like i don't know if you guys remember 2013 2012 2014 like these dudes that would just be on fucking twitter and just be like saying stupid shit funny shit but like it looks like they're cute or whatever so yeah he was a twitter nigga i didn't really know that until later or whatever right but um he wanted to talk and i was like okay sure we could talk so we were trying to talk and we like we couldn't hear ourselves in the party so we were like oh, let's go outside so we could talk so we went outside and talked and we were vibing so hard so we're like okay maybe our friends like are looking for us by now because we we're really outside talking for like a long ass time and shit like that and people were coming in and out the party all my friends were coming in and out i was like hey nah, nah, nah. but we were still like here you feel me we were here on some shit and then we went into the party and then this song started playing and honestly like i feel like we had made it our song it was one dance by drake oh my god bro like every time i like think about this now it's like fuck like i really <laughs> i really fucking like oh my god but anyways yeah so this the song came on and if you guys know the song you know that the beat it does go hard not gonna lie it makes you want to move your hips a little bit and that's exactly what happened and the weirdest thing is right i don't dance with other people I, I i wasn't like the kind of person to like dance with other people like back in the day like i did like to dance but it's like i would just dance by myself or with my friend I like to twerk too you know what i'm saying just twerk a little bit but with him it wasn't no like twerking it was like actual like body movement like this nigga could dance in my mind i was like and we were both moving and it just felt like a flow we were flowing and i stopped because it felt weird to me it was kind of freaky to me i was like i ain't never like danced with nobody like this and it was a vibe it was like an energy i was like what the fuck is this so immediately i stopped and then he just stopped too and he was like Ooh. <laughs> but anyways after that like it was it was it was i wanted more like i felt like i wanted more of him i wanted to see him more i wanted to be around him more but i don't know man at the end of the party he asked for my snapchat at the time i was really like into snapchat so he asked for my snapchat and shit like that and i was like okay but in my mind i wasn't like okay snapchat a number that's kind of weird i was like fuck it because i mean everybody has their own preferences or whatever and i didn't give a fuck i had just met the nigga but i was like okay i'll give you my snapchat so i gave it to him and we were talking on snapchat here and there you know what i'm saying but like we weren't really serious and i didn't see this dude until like another time mind you this is summer 16 and 
there was a whole bunch of parties and shit like that going on um and there was a movie night that i wanted to go to and my little sister she had come um she had come to town um for like the week or whatever she came to town and we both went to this movie night and this nigga was there the fool was there. I want to call him this nigga. He's supposed to be this fool. The fool. So the fool came with his friend. And we were just chilling on the ground watching the movie. And some girl came up to him and started asking him questions. And I pretended like I wasn't listening to what she was saying to him. Because I'm that type of person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not the type of person to be up in your business. But for some reason, it's like spirit told me to listen. So I listened, right? And this girl was asking him questions about where some girl is. I heard like Lexi or Lexis, something like that. And he was pretending to not, I just saw 1111. He was pretending to not know what the fuck she was talking about. He, he then proceeded to say, I'm so high. Like, I was, in my mind, I was like, bro what the fuck is like really going on you know what i'm saying but um i didn't really pay it no mind like that um so the movie night hadn't fully ended but me and my sister wanted to leave because we heard that it was gonna start raining so we went we walked back to my apartment and because like the apartments was like across the street so it was like super close so we walked back to my apartment and then it started pouring down and this 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 fool was texting me and he was like can i come over and i was like yeah i like i really wanted him to come over because first of all he was cute 1212 second of all <laughs> it was raining so i was like heck yeah but third like thirdly i didn't really want him to come over because it was raining but he, this nigga decided to come over anyways. So he he trudged through the rain over to my house. And this fool was dripping wet. I was like, you want to grab you a towel? And he was like, yeah. And so, like, I grabbed him a towel. And he, like, sat on our couch. And we were just talking. My sister was there with us. And, like, I don't know. He started, you know doing what i feel like he usually does to get girls to like him and he was just like basically i don't know casanova in it up is how I, i'd like to call it this nigga like he told me he writes poetry um what else yeah he said he wrote poetry 1313 13. oh my look looks kind of weird anyways yeah he told me he wrote poetry and shit like that um and he he like he was like ah oh, i want to have a piece i was like could you read it to me and so he read it and he was like i don't even remember what the piece was um talking about like to the t but there was a few key points that stood out to me and i was like oh. i was like he might be a fuck nigga like basically the poem was about him apologizing to a female about you know not being faithful and him like basically having a wandering eye or whatever and in my mind i was like like i was like i don't know if i want to take him serious because this sounds real it felt real you know what i'm saying mind you my empathic abilities were there but i wasn't like you know what i'm saying i didn't fully i wasn't full on in it i didn't even know what an empath was at the time i just was beginning to wake up and my body could feel it so i want to say a day or two later i had a dream and he was in it and bro this is the first of many sagas of this man this fool showing up in my dreams. This person has showed up in my dreams many times. Anyways, so I asked him in my dream, right? I was like, do you have a girlfriend? 
And in my dream, the way he looked at me, he was just like, like he, he wanted to tell me the truth, but he couldn't get it out. And that was just the end of that dream. So I took that as a sign, but I didn't really take it into full consideration. So yeah, I had met somebody else while I was talking to him because I really felt like he wasn't being serious because there would be plenty of many times where I would wanna come over to his spot he lived at the same apartment complex as I did. <laughs> Mind you, he lived at the same apartment com complex as me. And I could walk to his place. He lived, like, right outside the pool type shit. I knew where he stayed. He didn't know I knew, I don't think. But shit, I fucking knew. Um, But yeah, so he stayed, like, across the street from me. I could just walk over to his house I could never come over there. I could never stay the night. He could never stay the night at my place. Except for one time, we he had stayed the night. And it was just like a crazy ass time. Like, it was, he was trying to make it up to me or whatever. Because he had stood me up like plenty many times. And I just was not there enough to understand that this person was probably playing me. This person was probably like putting me are keeping me on the side he probably has somebody else like a whole like bro let's 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 just keep going with the story right so like i said i found somebody else after i found out that you know he was not serious i started not being serious either i was like you gonna play these games i'm gonna play these games too you feel me and i just decided to move on and not text him back and not be serious like he was not being serious and yeah so i had seen him um my senior year a couple times in the beginning in the very beginning of my senior year of college so <laughs> i was um i was on the bus because we had a shuttle that went that ran from the apartments to campus so i was on the shuttle and they run through like three or four different apartment complexes like three or four yeah about three or four they ran through about three or four mine was like the second stop or something like that and so i was chilling on the bus and the bus was getting full because i mean yeah first week of school whatever and I see this fool like walk up to the bus and come in and sit down in the front and I was like acting like I didn't see this nigga I was like fuck like I don't want to see him blah 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 or whatever and <laughs> when we stopped um like when we fin finally came to a final stop like it was like he was moving fast as fuck like the way he was walking like I'm thinking about it now because it's like this thing is short and it's like you know how short people move <laughs> like short men anyways i'm sorry short men out there but it's like if y'all are trying to get away from some shit it's kind of funny to see y'all walk but um that was like the end of that but i was in my i was in a relationship so i didn't really give a fuck you know what i'm saying but a few months later this man had the audacity to text me and he was on some like i miss you shit like you're special and all that shit and it's like you know i was kind of fitting into it i'm not even gonna lie because i did feel something with him and he felt it too but it's like what could we really do you know what i'm saying like we both um well it was really him because he wasn't serious at the time and i really wanted to figure out why the fuck he wasn't serious on some real shit i wanted to figure out why he had done what he did um and i wasn't just i wasn't with the whole like texting him i was like you know what i want to see why he, this nigga like played me and left and now he want to talk to me again type shit you know i was like because i just wanted i just wanted closure for me because i was personally happy but it's like i was going through some emotional shit 
and I don't know I kind of I feel like I was kind of enticed into it but I would I didn't want to do anything with him I just wanted to see like why the fuck you know he did that shit but anyways so a few months went by and it's April and I find myself wanting to hang out with the man and see like what the fuck happened so he he's like hey you like you want to smoke you want to hang out I was like like sure <laughs> like we can hang out and at the time I had a friend and she was like yeah like let's hang out with them let's see blah 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 and he had his friend so it was like us two and them two and so we were we hung out like two good times me and my friend at the time and him and his friend at the time we hung out while i was in a whole relationship mind you um yeah it was i was being sneaky but i wasn't trying to like fuck around with him like the i, I the last time i had hung out with him um it was it was a fucked up situation low key because I didn't tell my boyfriend at the time that I wanted to hang out with him and that I wanted closure from him or whatever because now it was becoming like an addiction. If I I I kept feel, feeling that shit inside of me, I was like, bro, he has a hold on me and I don't like it. I didn't like the fact that somebody had a hold on my emotions like that. I was like, bro, like I feel so connected to this person and I don't know why meanwhile i'm saying that my boyfriend at the time is my twin flame like blah 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 we you know what i'm saying and this this fool here is like running game you know like he usually does with his friends and shit and i am just not hip to the shit because i don't know i was always like protected from that shit or i always like knew so i was just like oh fuck that person like i'm gonna move on like i was i've always been the person to move on and not give a fuck at the end of the day yes it hurt but it's like fuck you at the end of the day type shit but with this nigga it was not like that it was not a fuck you type shit it was a damn i kind of like you we might actually you and me might be twin flames type shit you know what i'm saying just because of like the energy and like uh, how we met and all that shit But anyways, so the last time we hung out, I had to stop hanging out with him because he tried to hold my hand and he knew I wasn't about that shit. And like, we were about to smoke. He had just sparked it and, all, and my boyfriend was calling me at the time. My boyfriend at the time was calling me. And I was like, I have to go. So I jetted. I was like, yeah, I can't hang out with him. So I really like stopped talking to him like all together um i deleted his number i think i even blocked his number yeah i think i blocked his number too <laughs> blocked it um but then me and my boyfriend at the time had broke an, we had broke up the first time we broke up the first time and um i was so fucking devastated for some reason i felt like the fool had the the answers to what the fuck i was feeling because i had a feeling that you know he you know he was in a relationship that he was in love with the person excuse me but it's like he had to let go and i felt that shit i felt it i felt that shit come off of him i knew that he had gone through that shit and i had told him straight up when i had called him i was like i had called you because of this reason and i had a feeling that you would like help me so i had asked him i was like what I was like, why did you break up with the person that you loved or whatever? Like, what what made you, like, not go back to them? And, like, you know, like, what made you break up with them? And he was like, I, I wasn't, like, alone type shit. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know. I guess, I don't know if he was telling me the truth or if he was, like, giving me a roundabout answer as to, like why he like broke up with the person or whatever but i don't know at the time it helped like whatever he told me had helped he was like yeah i'm gonna go see i'm gonna go pick up my sister in 
Houston because he when I had called him it was a FaceTime because he, he had told me to FaceTime him and I was like okay so we did FaceTime and I didn't show my face because I was fucking disgusted I was a disgusting ass mess I was crying like ugh, it was it was a crazy ass time like to be fucking honest and I just feel like he was infiltrating my shit bro like I feel like his energy, because I interacted with him while I was in a relationship, it, like, it was fucking with my mind because it's, like, what is, I was confused. I really was. I was, like, should I stay or should I go type shit. And my boyfriend at the time, I don't even know what the fuck was really going on with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really, like, I, I don't feel like I ever really knew who he was. And I feel like that's what bothered me. And I felt like I couldn't get as close to him as I really truly wanted. And so I was looking for like love outside of our relationship or like some type of energy that I felt like was whole and complete outside of the relationship, which is completely wrong. But it just went to show that, you know, that relationship wasn't for me as much as I was fighting so hard to like be in it. I wasn't supposed to fight that hard to be there especially if i'm going out the relationship and seeing somebody that i used to talk to that was like the most ho shit that i did and that i will ever admit to because i didn't fuck nobody um i just wanted closure you know what i'm saying that's really it i no matter what my ex thought i didn't fucking cheat on him because I, that's disgusting to share that type of energy for one and for two for two that's some ho shit you know what i'm saying i'm not about cheating on somebody that's not me you know like i don't know if he thought knew that or not but that wasn't fucking me yes i might have like not said where i went but it was I, it was something personal and i had in my mind it's like i had met him before i met my i i had met the fool before i had met that my boyfriend at the time so i was like i mean the fool has like first like like first come first serve type shit anyways yeah so um My boyfriend at the time broke up with me for the third time. And it was official at that time. And it was just a terrible time. I had just graduated college. I didn't have no fucking job to fall back on. And I was like looking for a job. Oh, and that job I got fired from. And I could not fucking pay for my rent. And I was just stressed the fuck out. Like I lost a shit ton of weight. Motherfuckers were fucking talking shit about me. And I could hear it. It was like a spiritual thing like my shit started coming in strong like my shit started coming in mad strong and it was fucking with me i didn't know what the fuck to do like my people call it uh i don't remember damn what is it but it's like when your spiritual gifts are coming in or you have spiritual gifts and you're not aligned to them you haven't aligned to your spiritual gifts but anyways when i was with my ex at the time my boyfriend at the time um, I was waking, I was, I had my awakening, I had, um, full-blown, um, sleep paralysis, um, astral travel, astral projection, all that shit, it was, it was happening, I just, you know, I didn't know it was because of this calling that's, that was called on my life type shit, but anyways, we broke up, right, my sister's like, hey, let's go to a party, I was like, fine, I'll go out because I haven't been out in like so long and I just felt ugly I felt so ugly I didn't feel like myself I didn't even want to show my body because I was so skinny I had lost so much weight and ugh, I just I felt disgusting as fuck and I really feel like felt like people were talking about me and how much weight that I lost it got so bad that like there was a commercial on Spotify and I will never for fucking forget this for my whole life this commercial was like, oh my God, Amanda's so skinny. Da -da -da about mental health. Blah, blah. I was like, oh my God, what the fuck is going on? But anyways, yeah, so we were at this party, right? Me and my sister went with our new roommate or whatever. And lo and behold, the fool walks through with a group of friends. And he's sporting some cheetah print shorts. Like, uh swim trunks or whatever out in my mind i was like oh hell no here we go and that's the end of part one